Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Precious Kishana. Today I'll be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. Today's video is sponsored by Kenise Hair. They did provide me with this beautiful hair that I'll be showing y'all in a little bit. Before I get into that, I'm gonna do my face and all that good stuff. And I'll show y'all the unboxing and everything, how I received the package, then we'll get into this makeup. Receive this beautiful bag. It came with Amazon. I did order it off of Amazon, so you know, fast shipping. Did get it within two days, so that's always a plus when you need your hair right away. Came with this beautiful flyer advertising their hair. They also get eyelashes, a scrunchie, a headband, as well as two wig caps. Y'all know anytime you need a wig, making sure you have a wig cap on hand is always a struggle. So they went ahead and provided that for us. You can go ahead and tint it. So you can get it to your tone. So the lace of it was really good. The wig comes with four combs in the hair. I personally cut those out because I don't like it poking my head. So now I went ahead and bleached the knots. You want to make sure the consistency is like toothpaste kind of really thick. You want to use, I personally use a butter knife. You can use a spoon or butter knife, something flat surface. You want to just go ahead and lather it on to the lace like butter. You want to make sure you catch all of it as well as the whole hairline and everything. I use 4D Developer, which I need to start using because it really did the job really good this time. Usually I use like a 20 or so. I used the 4D Developer and it had that lace lace in, okay? It was looking like it came out the scalp. The only thing with uh, this lace, it is pretty light. So you want to make sure you actually probably more so get a lace tint instead of using like the makeup method because I did find that for your darker skin females like myself it was kind of easy to still detect the lace using the makeup so when I do reinstall it I'm gonna just get a lace tint to do it on there and fix that nothing that can't be fixed that was just one thing that I did notice with this lace it is on the lighter side so even with bleaching the knots applying the makeup usually I Apply foundation, put it on there, spray it with the got to be spray, and that gets the job done. But in this case scenario, that wasn't doing it. So you want to set it for a 30 minute timer. Once to 30 minutes, you leave it sitting there flat. After 30 minutes, see, look at that. Those knots is nicely bleached. So I did use the blonde and silver to rinse it out. First you wash all of the bleach off of it once all of that is washed off of it then you go ahead and go in with the shimmer blonde and silver shampoo to get that brassiness out of the lace i'm going to say you can leave it on there for 15 minutes depending on the level of brassiness like i mentioned before the lace was on the lighter side so it wasn't too much brass so i just applied it on there rather than there like i said for like one or two minutes and then i ended up rinsing it out I allowed the hair to air dry, I didn't blow dry it or manipulate it, washed it out. After I washed it with the Shimmer Light Shampoo, I went in with my Essie Conditioner, washed it out, allowed it to air dry. This is what the hairline looks like. It already came pre-plugged, and like I mentioned, if you want to plug it, you can plug it to get it to your likings, but it's optional. It's already plugged. Yeah, we're going out tonight. Booker Lounge, so I'm about to prepare and get ready for that. For makeup, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match in Hot Chocolate, the C9.5. And I use the MAC Strobe Cream Hydrant as my primer. And for my concealer shades, I use Cool Tan with Chestnut. I combine the both. I put the lighter... What I do? Put the lighter color on bottom and then put chestnut on top of it. For contour, I use True Complexions Black Radiance. So I have the powdered one and then I have the cream version. So I use the cream first and then I go over and set it in with the powder to it. The cream is medium to dark. I use the contour. For the dark one, I actually use the middle shade of that. Don't come at me, I know I need new ones. Let's get into this tutorial. Shout out to my little sister, Crystal. She did cash out me $50 and just sent it with a message saying self-care with the heart. She has been loving the new content and supporting the whole journey and movement. 
So she just decided to randomly surprise me and cash at me. So I did take it and go ahead and did my eyebrows and nails. Shout out to you, sister. Purchasing myself here. So we went to the nail salon today. I did my eyebrows, got my girls looking like sisters again. Cause I don't know what was going on before. I tried to do it and then it just went left. So got that done. That used to be my eyebrow place when I was living in New York. Lived there religiously. They always get the job done. And they hook me up. See, look at that. It took me two seconds to get my eyebrows aligned. And it's just to fill it in and make it a little thicker. Yeah, and then I went ahead and did my nails. One of my nails had just chipped too. I don't like that. That just happened. So I'm watching it to see. Yes, I will be right back there. Nothing is more annoying than getting your nails done and having to go back and fix it because in a day or two it done chipped. This one is using that fake gel. For today's chit chat, I think we can do. Oh, so tight. I've been leaving this on my head. I probably need to get like a shorter inch one so it just goes there because my ears are on fire. Fire. But for today's chit chat, we can do our mom diaries too. Today's mom diaries is honestly about prioritizing yourself, putting yourself first. Because honestly, momhood, it could drain you. If you don't catch it before anything, you would find yourself giving everything. Like naturally as a mom, you just tend to put everything first before you. Sometimes we don't even notice it. Self-care is very important. When I say self-care, something little as getting quiet time, going to read a book, differentiating between what can wait and what's needed to lift up your spirit. Like for me, I had stopped doing my hair, I stopped doing my nails, I stopped doing everything because it just didn't fit in my schedule. There's 24 hours in a day. People make time for what they want to make time for. I always made sure. Even if I don't look good, I make sure Cherish looks good. And she's all set, even when she's not going anywhere. But if that means cutting off your hair to be able to manage it, installing wigs or getting your hair braided, something where your hair is always done. You don't have to worry about your hair. Because I know hair is a big thing for us. We struggle with finding the time to be able to get it done, the time to fix it. Some people are. Fortunate enough to have that wet and go curly hair where they could just slap some water in it and just up and go. But for any of us, that's not the case. So in those instances, we have to try and figure something out. So here I'm just rubbing the remainder of foundation in the hairline of the hair so it blends in. You see that? Giving scalp hair though is just amazing. We just have to prioritize our uh, time and make that effort because you're not trying to be out here being burnt out, looking crusty and dusty at 20. Y'all, I forgot my age. In my case, 27. Like, we're young. When our parents had us, they kept themselves together. I seen my mother. She had me at 16 and her hair was always done. Even if she didn't do her nails, her hair was always done. She had herself looking decent. And that's what we gotta do. Nobody told us because we were wrong. Our life is over. And that's false. It's a lie. It ain't no. We just putting our all into this. Yes, everyone wants to be a great mom. Everyone wants to make sure we're doing the right thing for our kids. But if we not pulling ourselves together, none of that it's gonna matter because we're gonna be experiencing burnout we don't need to burn ourselves out we need to balance ourselves out so if that means getting up a little bit earlier to get things done while they sleeping 
for staying up a little later when they go to bed. For me, staying up later for me don't work because I have a night owl. Cherish can stay up till one, two o'clock in the morning. So for me, it's getting up early with full work to put in that extra effort. And now that I have my weight gain going, that just makes it 10 times easier. So as you can see, I put that elastic band on, tie it in my edges, hold it down so it can serve me. And once it serves me, all I gotta worry about is my face. And then when your eyebrows is done, all I gotta do is pop on some lashes and you'll be good to go. Cause today I went outside, I just fixed my eyebrows and put on lashes and I was outside. So it's the little things, we just gotta prioritize. That's it. And a lot of times we depend and put our happiness and things we can accomplish in the hands of other people. When really, if we gotta go out by ourselves to get a breath of fresh air because no one else is available, maybe that's what we need to do. Maybe we need to start going on solo dates to get out the house. It may feel weird at first, because I never did, but it's to a point where I'm actually willing to do it. It's just balance. We gotta balance it all out. It's honestly about balancing it all out. Planning it all out. On a Sunday, Monday, sit down, prioritize, plan out your week. Do a weekly reset, fix your hair. And when you look good, you just automatically feel good. Cause I know, when my hair is done, literally nothing else matters. As long as my hair done, I'll be feeling all on top of the world. Journaling is also good as well as a way to put it all out because sometimes we feel emotions and we go through things and we don't understand what we're going through especially as a mom like the weight of just being the one that everyone lean on you have these little ones looking up to you expect you to have life all figured out but they're just walking around carefree your significant other leaning on you expecting you to have it all figured out because as a woman we just know how to multitask and balance and this and that and all reality we're human too it it becomes too much and we have to just start being okay with verbalizing that and putting that out there in the universe so people can understand it i think we a lot of times suppress what we're feeling and going through because we just have it in our mind as a woman. We're supposed to be able to multitask. We're supposed to be able to do everything ourselves and have it all figured out. And that is insane. We don't have no superheroes out here. No, 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 no. So with that being said, if you need help, say it. If you need a break and you just don't feel like doing nothing, don't do it. Cause for me, like for me, okay. I like a nice clean place. A nice clean area keeps me feeling sane. That uplifts me, that makes me feel like, like I don't know, when it's clean, it just have everything feeling light. I feel like I can think, I can, it can just be free and I can relax. And I've been this way So I was, I don't even know how old. It just, I, I just been that way. I, I couldn't go to bed at night <laughs> in the dirty room. I just like my space to be clean so I can feel free. Sometimes I experience burnout because I'm always trying to keep it clean. I can clean it and Cherish will go and redecorate, aka make a mess. And I would just go run and try to clean it back up and that's double time used on cleaning that I could have been using on something else. Cause one, she's gonna turn back around and do it again. Like she doesn't care. <laughs> doesn't care at all. No matter how much time she do it. If she doesn't want it clean, she's gonna decorate and make it look her version of clean. So, little things like that. I always wanted to have the laundry real low at one point. I feel like we were washing like every other day, trying to keep the pile low. Nope, don't eliminate it once a week. Once a week. Tired of washing dishes, dishwasher. That's what they invented for. That's what it's invented for. There's a solution to every problem. We just 
like to take on all the problems and feel like we are superheroes. We're not. We're just burning ourselves out low key and don't even realize it. Sometimes new scenery is good as well. Like for me, I work at home. So my scenery is always in home. <laughs> I rarely get the outside experience or outside life. Sometimes that vitamin D is really what's needed to keep us going and feeling free. And with that being said, take a stroll. Take a stroll. When I took Cherish, because usually we have so much space in the house. When the kids get their toys and stuff, we just let them ride it in the house. When I let Cherish go outside and ride her scooter, she was so happy to be outside. Like, we don't even realize the, the little things. Because we have, like, the swings and everything in the backyard. It, it, it's convenient. And we feel like, okay, that's all we need. No, it's not just for us. It's for the kids as well. That um, breath of fresh air, walk to the park, or stroll in the neighborhood, it may just be what the kids need to burn out that extra energy. So maybe they will sleep longer. Maybe it will lift up their spirits, making their life easier, making their move better, makes our life easier, makes our move better. So it's a give and take. That's why it's all about balance. We just have to balance it all out to make sure the baby's good and we're good. But part of this change and part of the whole prioritizing and finding balance, we have to balance our emotions as well. Because toddlers are already as emotional as is. They don't know how to really express themselves. They get frustrated easily because not all the time what they're saying is what they really mean. So you have toddlers struggling with their emotions and everything going on. And then you have us that's sitting there struggling, trying to figure out what they're saying and what they need, as well as trying to figure out our own emotions. And sometimes our emotions are just, we're tired, we're overworked. Cherry comes to me now sometimes. She's like, mommy, you're done working? I'm like, yeah, I'm done, all done for the day. She's like, mommy, come play with me. And little stuff like that, it breaks my heart because like, dang, I get off of work and I just go in the zone in preparation, trying to prepare for the next day, organize, make sure she bathed, she ate everything. And I don't even realize sometimes I'm not even playing with her. And they're watching too. So we gotta make the schedule. We have to make time to spend time with them too. Not always just being there and providing for them it is all they need. They want that one-on-one -on -one time too. They want to bond with us, they want to play with us. Yes, they're capable of playing with themselves, but sometimes they want their parents there. And that's understandable. That is very understandable because I remember when I was younger, my dad used to work a lot. Mommy, mommy always made sure she balanced out work and we did stuff as a family. My dad, he worked a lot and when we seen him, sometimes it's before work or after work and that was it. Granted, he couldn't control it because his work schedule, but it's just those little things, it affects you when you look at it because I remember saying, I want to spend more time with my dad. So, I understand where she's coming from. And she's only two. And she's already expressing it. Mommy played with me. Mommy tickled me. <laughs> Mommy chased me. And then with the boys in the house, when she wants to play with them, she would go and tap them. And start laughing and running so they could chase her. So, I had to find that time to spend time with them and bond with them in other ways than just being their provider. So once we're able to create an outlet and create a schedule, vent our emotions, journal, plan, it will make the whole situation better. The most important thing, and I keep saying it, is balancing it out because it's really all just about balance. Once we get that balance out, everything will be a okay. So for my face, the face is basically done. Um, I need to clean the off my sideburns because the makeup stuck to the mousse. So I'm just clean that up, and then we're gonna get into this hair and set my face. Once it's set. There is a highlight in here. Now I'll just take a little fan brush, 
while it's wet. I'm gonna go ahead and tap that in. Tap, tap, tap. And now, it's the part that we've been waiting for. Thank you so much, Kenneth, for sponsoring this video. This hair is from them. All my mom did was install it, and when she installed it, I just went ahead and tied it down. This is in its natural state, which has been wet. So now we're about to moisturize it and really see what the curls is working with. From the previous clip, y'all can see how it was looking. Fresh out the water, the curls is amazing so far. The hair is great. The lace came pre-plucked, so it's very, very helpful. Because sometimes these companies, sure, you sitting there working out for a whole day and a half trying to sort it all out. Theirs came pre-plucked, so you could do some additional plucking to your likings. Because, you know, the whole lace is really a person-to-person -person preference situation. For me, for my part, I like my part to be very slick and precise and you know when you get the lace it's not much of a part in space you gotta really kind of make it some people leave it as is i like to go in and pluck some hairs out to make it a little more defined and precise so i'm gonna go in and comb out the hairs you just plucked you see you have a defined part now. You take your concealer brush. I'm gonna use my foundation. I'm gonna use my foundation color. Dip it in there like so. And then you wanna run it from your forehead. Go back and then you can just like rub it in so it's not, you know, just sitting there. Look at that part. So I'll go, I went ahead with my sleep stick. You just want to hot comb the top because you just want it as flat as possible. So how I do mine is I do it from the part. Go ahead and set the top in motion because we're wetting the ends of it. So the ends of it, we don't really care. We just need our top to be as flat and neat as possible. And then I go ahead and take it from here and then I hop on like that to give it some body. You see what I just did there? So we're doing that. I use got to be spray on my edges mixed with some water. Mix with water from having the the elastic band on there when I woke up. It was set set. So I'm not even messing with that. It's a okay. It got a little shine to it, so it's fine with me. And I do it like that, right? So now we got some body and everything. Y'all know I love my Essie stuff. So I have the Essie coil shape and jelly. And then I have the Miracle Curls Cream Pudding. That's what I use in my natural hair using Cherry's hair. So I'm gonna use that. And then first I'm gonna put some Argan Oil from Moroccan Oil Foam and Mousse on it. And I'm gonna just take this and apply it all throughout there. This is gonna give us some shine and moisture. And then once we do that, we can go on with the curling materials to set those curls. Y'all yeah. see the hair. I know y'all see. I know y'all see the hair. Look at those curls, my gosh. You see the thing with this hair. And you wanna make sure you're sealing it from top to the ends. We don't want no drop ends out here. All I like to do is put a little water on my hand and that will help 
stretch out the product too. Just pass some water and then a little more mousse on this side because this side ain't covered. Good. and brush it through. Now this is 150 Dixie. When I got it from the curve line, I thought it was gonna be thin, but it's actually a decent density. It's just, no, it's not too much. Perfect for every day and like how I have it glued down. I know it's gonna be good. And with the cream pudding, You just want to make sure you're distributing the product very evenly. Catching the kitchen in the back and under the hair. Like in there. Because with curly hair, the neck, the neck area tends to tangle up a lot. So we just want to make sure getting everything nice and moist. And last but not least, the shape and jelly. And the jelly is literally like jelly texture. So. This is to seal the deal and keep our curls curling. God, it's, it's getting boring, mommy. Okay. Right here, all that dry, 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 dry. I'm gonna let this set and dry and go ahead and get dressed, and then I'll come back and show y'all my scents for the night as well as the finished product once it's done drying. But so far, look at this, and for the price, this is bomb. My all-time favorite look, I go in with a brown pencil, align my lid with the brown pencil, and then go in with any nude or shimmer shade of lip gloss and apply that to my lips. Then I did go in with the apple juice and Sumerose perfume from Zara, apply that all over. Now with my hair, now that it's dry, and you know sometimes it get a little crinky i want to say or like a little hard so i took some castor oil rub it on my hand and just applied it all throughout the hair and it gives it its natural shine as well as take away some of that crunch that comes with the products when applying it i just made sure i rub that all throughout the hair but this is the final product as i was telling you before this is 150 density i thought it would have been too thin but it's actually a perfect and doable density it's just perfect for every day it's nice and full it's not too much i'm just loving it if you did enjoy this hair i would provide the link down below so you guys can go over to amazon and get it there actually is a coupon right now going on where you can get money off so definitely take advantage of that thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see y'all in the next video bye